Can I describe Blackish in three words? Thought provoking entertainment. My old decrepit pops is gonna die! <laughs> describe Blackish in three words? Family fun time. Bang! Important, life changing, and hilarious. Sometimes I feel like a bit of an oddity. And if you look to your left, you'll see the mythical and majestic black family out of their natural habitat and yet still thriving. This was a show that was going to take a look at through the lens of the Johnsons, what it is to raise your children in a different world than you were raised in. It seems as if uh, some people that were supposed to protect us didn't do the right thing, but it doesn't happen very often. It happens all the time. It doesn't happen very often. We were a show that was unafraid to go there. We talked about things that you weren't supposed to talk about. The legacy of the show is anything and brought us a little bit closer as a country. Blackish just embodied this um, idea that you straddle the hyphen. You are of your culture, but then you also are American. We all want to live the American dream. It just seemed from a different perspective. That's what I hope that our audience got from what, uh, got from the stories that we were telling uh, for these past eight seasons. One of the things that we set out to do from the very beginning was not just to entertain, but also to educate people. I ain't saying she a gold digger, uh, but she ain't messing with the broke, uh, and I ain't... The N-word episode is such a good example of that. And I... A little 10-year-old boy who's inadvertently sort of singing a song but doesn't know the context, the historical context of that word and what that means. The Juneteenth episode of Blackish was so important. Everything about Columbus is a joke. You didn't discover America, prepare to get woke. It helped to open up a dialogue that um, a lot of us weren't having. So in the black community, we celebrate Juneteenth, and a lot of white folks, I saw some of the, the social media posts and, and uh, questions, people are like, what is Juneteenth? I'm talking about Juneteenth. It was the 20th. But the 19th when it was told to us. We brought a musical to half hour primetime television. And I think we were instrumental in having Apple add Juneteenth to its calendar on, on all of its uh, devices and, and then also ushering it in as a national holiday. I like to think that we had a small part in, in making that happen. One of the most emotional moments I spent on set. And it looks like we're getting word now of protests across the country becoming violent. When they played the police beating the protesters, and I looked at Kayla's face and Miles's face and Marcus's face, and I was so hurt and angry that they had to look at that. That was a very difficult moment. Here we go. And, and hold on. Let's look at the orange stripe. Right. Oh, OK, because that was right down the barrel of the lens again. Thank you, Tracy. We spend more time with each other on, this, on these two stages than we do with our own families. That's cool. 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I love my TV siblings. I feel so lucky um, to have grown up with them. We don't like each other at all. We hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we triple M game. Yeah, we are triple M game, so. That's uh, Miles, Marseille, and Marcus. So, so. For all the viewers out there. Triple M. Now, trust me, precious metals and sexual favors are the only currency during times of civil unrest. <laughs> Damn, woman, I taught you well. One of the things that I always appreciate about Jennifer and Lawrence is that they constantly, to the younger actors, let them know how special it was what they were getting a chance to do. And they also were the elder statesmen on set, you know, and they had been through it all and seen it all. I love to be around the comedic geniuses of Tracy Ellis Ross and Anthony Anderson. You basically just put the cameras up <laughs> and then the magic happens in front of you. So uh, I don't really have to do much directing. <laughs> I had the sex talk with our son, shirt off. Why was your shirt off? Because I'm free. There were times when we're working 14 to 16 hours a day, 
So you learn each other. Uh, you grow with each other. I think we've done a beautiful job of it. I also think we've done a beautiful job of not trying to answer the questions, but pose them. This show, wow, all I can tell you is I was just, it was the cherry on the top of my career. Call the police, but before they come, you make sure they know a black man owns this house. Okay, mom, okay. This is the world that we live in. A whole lot of white, a whole lot of black, but mostly gray. But as a family, we're gonna figure it out together. The High Queens! Our fans make the show what it is. So I, I hope they know that we know how special they are. <laughs>